guys, um, just an update and uh, especially of uh, what not to do and what to do right now that I kind of encountered. So I would like to share that to you. See, that collar, as you can see, um, I love the collar. It actually lightened up right now because when we first started spraying, it was sort of darker. Um, and another thing that I realized, did not even, you see what I did? That's why I chose this color. So we had leftover sheetrock. I primed the sheetrock and then let it dry. And then I did one coat of this one, let it dry, and second coat of this one and let it dry. But the problem was it was directly under, you know, I was outside when I look at the paint that I painted or that sheetrock, that piece of sheetrock that I painted. So it looked really, really light. It's almost like just a touch of blue. Like it's almost white. You know, imagine a bucket of white paint and you put a couple drops of blue. That how, that's what it looked like. But then uh, indoors, you know, under the roof and all that, it's different. So that was my mistake. And another thing too, you know, those samples that you get from the stores, uh, they always dry darker than what is on the samples. So if you think that color that you chose at the store is light, it will get, it will be darker when it dries up, you know, like in real, once you start painting it in the house. So... So now we are going to sort of change the color. I bought um, I bought extra white paint and this is what it might look like. It might not look a lot different right now, but uh, plus we're uh, adding more white. And um, Sherwin Williams, you know, uh, she, uh, the one of Lenore City, she was really kind enough uh, to, she was about to lighten up the collar or fix this paint for me, but I figured I think it would be best to just buy extra gallons of white paint and lighten them up ourselves. So, so that way I could actually get the right color that I want. Be, um, and by doing so, I'm sure Home Depot sell, well, when I was at Home Depot, they sell like buckets like this with lines and all that, but it was like about just um, uh, for four quarts, you know? But at Sherwin Williams, they sell like up to two gallons. And uh, um, I'm going to try it out and I bought some of these at the dollar store so I could re-scrape off all the paint and get to the, mo you know, almost to the most accurate um, measurement so that way there will be no um, different in tints, you know. Because, I mean, right now it looks good, especially if, the, because our cabinets are going to be white. It will pop, but over here, if I paint that color, you see, this is going to make the uh, this area sort of smaller, I suppose. I want it to give it a um, bigger, um, bigger effect or bigger, you know, to make the, the whole house a lot bigger. And uh, so, yeah. So I'll get back to you again, okay? But that's just uh, one of my tips. <laughs> uh, and also one of my tips, you know, <laughs> what I did was I just started spraying like crazy. You know, I got so excited because when we first sprayed, it looked uh, light. But then as I kept going on and going on, it got darker and I started just crying at that time, you know? 
because I felt helpless. But now, uh, I'm just going to fix it. I'm going to prime it again. Uh, and then repaint it. I guess that's the only best way to do it, you know? And I'll show you again later on. And if there's any more do's and don'ts that I would encounter, I will surely share it to you guys. So thank you. And please don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thank you. And you have a great day. Always be safe.